here's my 3D printed lathe. It's driven by a motor, scavenged from an old uh, dot matrix printer. All the blue parts that you can see have been printed out. The grey parts, the pulleys have been printed out. Um, there's a, an O-ring drive and a few bits of threaded rod and silver steel bar uh, for the slides and so on. I've also made a, a custom cutting tool just by filing down a piece of the same silver steel that I used for the slides and of course there's various nuts and bolts and screws holding it all together. The gears are parametric gears uh, printed from uh, something I got off Thingiverse. All the other parts are pretty much my own design. So what we've got here is a cross slide. Turning this one moves the tool that way, in and out. Uh, and this is the longitudinal slide. Turning this handle, using through the gears, drives a threaded rod which pushes a nut which drives the carriage up and down. The sole purpose of this lathe, it's not a general purpose lathe really, is to turn down these pulleys so that I can get them completely circular so that the, I can improve the accuracy of the 3D printer that actually made them in the first place. So, with no further ado, let's see it work. Okay, spinning now, I'll just drive the tool in a little bit and then we'll start turning down the edge of the pulley. Not quite far enough. There is some slack on this. I should have put a couple of washers in to tighten up the nut, but I didn't get around to it, so I'll drive that in a bit further. Still not making contact. There we go, that's going to do it. It's not a very powerful motor, so I can't take too deep a cut at any given time. And PLA, which is what the pulleys are made of, is a terrible material to machine. And you can see the motor's not really powerful enough to take this deeper cut, it's slowing down. So there we are. You can see how rough that is, but it's actually very circular and a marked improvement on the original print. 